My name is Jasmine Piedra. As a child, I was blind to a lot of the financial struggle that my family went through. While I was choosing which snack to eat that day, my mom was choosing which bill to pay that month. Look, uh, she made sure that neither my siblings nor I felt the burden. Looking back, I feel that if she had had the tools to set herself up financially, she wouldn't have had to uh, carry that load on her shoulders. My project, Financial Freedom for Tomorrow's Youth, focuses on adding a, a board-adopted personal finance curriculum into the school's graduation requirements. Children's High School does not currently teach a personal finance class, which means that students are not leaving with the skills they need to navigate the financial world. By directly teaching high school students money management and financial decision uh, making, we all benefit. Research shows that 70% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, and 62% have acquired credit card debt just in the last 12 months, and 58% are struggling to get ahead of that debt from month to month. 60% of Americans agree that talking about financial goals is, a stressful, uh, is stressful, and Texas is 25th in the national financial literacy ranking. The Children's Independent School District reported that 59% of the students are considered economic, economically disadvantaged. There is a gap in our school's curriculum that should be used to prepare students for the future, not just academically, but for basic real-world decisions. I collaborated with the school's work-study program to use peers who are already employed. Since they already have jobs, money management skills are essential to them. I began doing some research by asking them to take a survey that I created. The data collected showed that while 85% already had a bank account, 50% did not have a budget, 71% did not know how to file their taxes, and 85% did not know their credit score nor how to improve it. It was clear that while over half of the class had a financial goal, they did not yet have the skills to achieve it. With the survey done, I asked the students to participate in a one-hour weekly finance cur uh, cur simulation curriculum provided by EverFi. Since it was not required and no grades were attached, few if any of the students completed the lessons. This lack of participation shows that students need extrinsic motivation. Sometimes we don't know what's best for us, so we need guidance. In an effort to gouge the amount of uh, support I'd received from my community, I first asked my principal if she would send out a survey to the CHS parents uh, on, via our Remind app. She was not responsive to this idea, so I came up with a different plan to get community feedback. I reached out to our local United Supermarkets to conduct my community survey. Um, this, this establishment has always been supportive of our FCCLA chapter in projects that benefit our community, and it offered a wide, uh, broad spectrum of respondents. The data showed that 70% 70, uh, 70 of the participants agreed that there was a need for a personal finance course. The last step was for uh, me to present my findings to the school board. I virtually attended the January 11th meeting with the purpose of persuading the board uh, to adopt one of the three suggested curriculums. I asked that they require every CHS graduate to have earned a half credit in personal finance upon graduation. This could be accomplished in several ways. The first would be to add this content to the work study program or to the college career and military readiness class, which was added this year as a requirement for all seniors to take. The second option was to add, uh, pair it with speech, which is a required half credit. And the last would be to pair it with lifetime for nutrition and wellness, which is also a half credit. With a combination of these options, all students could fit the new course into their schedule. Besides requiring a half credit in personal finance, I also ask that the board approve the purchase of a specific curriculum, especially since various teachers might be teaching this content and it needs to be the same for everyone. The first suggestion was CW Publication, which is a simulation-based program that allows a student to choose an income and a, a location. And once they've done that, they can create their own budget and make uh, real-life decisions on a week-to-week -week basis for a uh, simulated year. The second option, as I mentioned before, was EverFi, which is completely free. And then the last option was the Dave Ramsey Foundations in Personal Finance uh, High School Edition, which includes a 600-page teacher guide, as well as hundreds of uh, interactive activities, videos, and guided questions.
These are just three examples of courses designed to teach students about banking basics, investments, credit, savings, and retirement funds, and setting smart financial goals. While the work-study class and the, career, uh, and the career and military readiness classes are teaching students important skills for the future, once a student gets into college or begins their career, they need to learn how to pay for their education and how to manage their income. One way of promoting my cause was to strike up a conversation about why I think uh, why I think financial literacy should be required for every high school student. As I mentioned before, over half of America finds money to be stressful to talk about. And one of the reasons why I was in the dark about my family's battle with money was because we didn't talk about it. It was important to me that I could find a clear and concise way to explain the value of having a financial, a quality financial uh, education. So if a teacher asked me about my project or if I came into a situation where I could talk about it, I would just say that 78% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck and over half of the students in my school district are considered economically disadvantaged. That is why I chose to focus my project on financial literacy. It is important that we teach students the skills to make smart financial decisions. And my goal is to have the school board adopt a personal finance course into the school's required curriculum. It states the facts, my reason, and my goal. Another, similarly, I needed a tangible way to leave behind an impression on those whom I spoke to. For my proposal to the school board, I created a leave behind flyer that wholly encompassed my project from the most jarring statistics to the feature in the question, why do CHS students deserve to be taught personal finance? to remind the school board of who this class would benefit, the students. This brings me to the targets of my project, the CISD school board, the administration, and the students. To my knowledge, the board has never been asked to prioritize the students' financial education as standardized testing dominates the curriculum. And the administration does not currently require a personal finance related uh, class and they are only offered for career and technical education students. They, all students deserve to be given the uh, tools to succeed in life, and I was fortunate enough to have taken the dollars and cents class, which is a family consumer sciences elective, which I feel gave me the confidence to go forward in the financial world. And I mean only to instill that same confidence in future generations to come. I partnered with the work study program because they their purpose is to guide the students in in their future careers, and personal finance goes hand in hand with that. I also worked with our local United Supermarkets because they have always been supportive of our chapter and projects that benefit our community. Media involvement would have been unprofessional for my project as it would give the impression of circumventing uh, this board as my topic was not up for public vote. The board members are to represent their constituents. So it took, uh, it took it directly to them and to the campus administration. The board agenda was posted and the minutes were published in the Red River Sun, which is our local newspaper. As a result of my project, Children's High School will be purchasing one of the personal finance uh, curriculums that I suggested, but need more time to decide exactly which one. But starting with the 2021-2022 school year, every senior will be required to take the, this financial literacy course through the CCMR class in order to graduate. Adults in America are not the most money savvy, but we had the opportunity to change that, starting with, in our communities where we would all benefit locally. Children's high school students deserve to be taught how to make wise financial decisions and be prepared to face the financial challenges that will come their way. This is their step towards financial freedom. I was once a little girl that didn't know any different. Now a young adult, I no longer have the excuse of being uninformed. In order to change the financial direction of our nation, we have to begin locally by, uh, by directly teaching financial skills to our youth. We have, the, we have the power to set the foundation for future generations. And I'm proud that I took action to initiate a, a legacy of financial literacy for children's high school students and improve the lives of families in my community. Thank you.